What's up, Golden Gamers? We're back. Today we're gonna be checking out some uh, moments of my past, of my career. We're gonna be reviewing, we're gonna be talking a little bit about them, and um, yeah, I can't wait. These are the highlights of my career. Oh, K-word. Oh, we're after the bad start here. That was a moment. That was, yeah. 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 That was a moment. That was um was one of those rare moments that I was really motivated in uh, beating someone. Uh, I think this was like my first, uh, you know, like big showing. Because before this tournament, I remember I was getting fun by all the Toronto players. But, you know, I was kind of learning the game and I'm like, why are these people playing as if it's grand finals of EVO, like in, at the university tournaments. So I'm like, this isn't for real. When there's a big tournament, I'm just gonna beat them all. And then this tournament happened and I kind of beat them all like back to back. <laughs> that kind of happened, that's true. I just remember that. K-word was just in the process, which was like the, the cherry on top. I took this one personal. Uh, pretty much everyone asks me all the time, why do I call him K-word? I think I've said it a few times, but pretty much I came to visit Canada one time and uh, this was years ago. And I told him, hey, you know what? I'm in the air. You want to play? Uh, I, back then, I didn't know that Quebec was eight hours away. Long story short, he told me that in order for me to play him, I had to be, I had to have at least beaten Dark Rain. I'm like, what is this guy? I think I blocked him right away and that got me mad. Anyways, years later, I moved to Canada. This happens and I'm kind of motiv motivated to beat the guy. So, um, yeah, my bad, K-word, but... Um, you know, but real talk, uh, I think I'm appreciative of this match. This match kind of put me in the eyes of the audience, so... It was a it was a good stepping stone, if you will, for uh, what was to come. Off to a bad start, K-Word? I was not expecting that. Very first video to watch. Okay, I'm gonna have to wake up a little bit. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Next one. Oh, this one! Yeah, this one. This was actually the very first one. I ha I was I was fresh off the boat, fresh off the boat, like two days into moving back to Canada. I think at this point, I remember at that point when I got that, and yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna lose this match. I'm gonna try winning the set. I think I, I said in my mind. It, it sounds kind of BS, but yeah, that's kind of what was I was thinking. Yeah, the nun back. I'm down two stocks. This was a four stock comeback, right? I was thinking it was a three. I remember the people were going nuts. I mean, same thing at McSmasher. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, this one's a bit personal too. Uh, like I said, I was fresh off of coming back to Canada and I had a tournament two days after. At the time, I was actually playing Fox. I was like pretty into Fox. I was playing him for a long time now. Uh, but then I, I, I guess I realized there's like too many Fox mains in Toronto, and I kind of hate the Fox Ditto, so I'm like, eh, I'll just go back to Falcon. And I kind of did all of this, so that was cool. Because because Weon X at the time, he was the best player in Toronto. I don't know if Canada, but he was the best in Ontario, actually. So I did this, and I'm like, dang, if I can do this to like Weon X, you know. Maybe I should play this game more. This kind of like gave me like the motivation, the pump, the like it fueled me and motivated me to, you know, to play more, to take it seriously. I don't know how this happened. At the time, this one was weird. At the time, well, I think here I was on like a, on a rise. I was starting to like beat all like the people that were beating me, and I was mad that they ranked me 58. I was so I was pissed. I was so pissed. I had like so much motivation to play this game because of what happened and yeah i had to wear that number yeah that happened so yeah this was in michigan this was a sweet i don't even know how i came out here but i had gotten recently ranked 58 or something and i was mad so i was like like motivated and angry and i had to get rid of all those those emotions you know and uh an angry me is an is a dangerous me. And this was a also a personal W for me because I had never been really good versus Puff. In Toronto, I remember I would always 
like it came to a point where I was like beating the tops, but then I would lose to Puff. Uh, Idea, his name was. He was a Puff mate from here in Toronto. But then I put some work in, and then I was like, yeah, yeah this can happen if I just, uh, you know, do the adjusts all the time. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is all I'm good for. If you ask around, uh, yeah, uh, none. Yeah, that's the guy that beat M2K. And then did nothing else. This is my identity. You know, I, re I regret beating M2K at this tournament. I mean, there's a lot of storyline here, but... I mean, it was, it was fun. Yeah, people go crazy here. Someone hit me in the ribs. Couldn't breathe for a good five seconds there. Yeah, I can't. My ribs. You took my air. Yeah, that was fun. I... Let me just get this straight. I didn't fist bump M2K. Not because I didn't want to, but because they wouldn't let me. I, I mean, they took out my air. Like, they hit me in the ribs. I couldn't move. They wouldn't let me go, so... I didn't fist bump him, and yeah, I, so many years later, I need to get that out of the way. <laughs> but I wanted to, but they didn't let me. I'm not a, I'm not those kind of players. I, I respect my opponents. But I kind of regret playing this match because in order to beat him, I kind of had to invent crouch canceling. And now the meta is all about crouch can I don't know. I don't know. I have, I have conflicted feelings, but it was nice. I mean, the guy hadn't lost to Falcon in like so many years, right? But, um, and I'm like, yeah, cool, that's me, I, I did that, you know? I assume this is the combo, yeah. Yeah, I kind of improv that on the spot. Can you, can you rewind? How did I move so fast when it said go? I don't even know what happened. Ready, go, and then I'm on him. What? I don't know, I don't remember how I did that. That must have been an accident. This whole combo was an accident, but... I think it's probably my best combo. At least my most memorable. This was a this was a six set. Fifty, yeah, I was ranked fifty. I would see the the, the whole storyline when I was ranked low. I mean, if something he shook. Yeah, it kept going. But um, yeah, if, if something's for if something is for sure, if something's certain, um. Melee players, when they get ranked low, they get angry. It's happened time and time again. And even this year, who's like Mango and Axe? Yeah, those people are angry, and I was going through that phase. The whole year, I was just <sighs> miserable and sad and angry. And yeah, I was doing stuff like that. This was a sick match, though. I think uh, even though I didn't win it, it, uh, it went the distance. Went to game five. Ooh. And, um... Yeah, I think yeah, this is one of one of the better sets I think I've had even though I Usually don't watch a set For the result I watched the set for the gameplay and I think this back for the time. This was this was really good. Oh This one yeah, I, I forgot. I want a major over over this guy Yeah, in a different country This one, I think I had played Hugo a few times. This was definitely... I, I remember he beat me in winners, and I got pretty mad. But it's, it, you know, it was one of those competitive madnesses. Madnesses, if that's a word. But yeah, because he kind of, like, prepared. I'm like, ah, dang. I mean, it, I was not expecting him being ready. But kind of brought it in... Kind of brought it to him in, in grands. I think I, I I reset and then and then I beat him. I think I mostly played Ganon versus Hugo because he would tell me in person that he hated my Ganon. So I just thought it was funny to beat him with Ganon. <laughs> now that I think that I say that out loud, it's funny. But um, yeah, at the time I didn't really realize like like what well, tournament major Ganon. I don't care about any of that. I'm just playing for my match. You know, like I'm not thinking about any of that. But I mean, after, apparently it was a big deal. People were talking about it. Ganon takes something. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is uh, Super Family. This is, this is the first one or the second one? I love this tournament series, by the way. I had 
I mean, I, I understand why it ended, but I love I, I love Georgia. I love NC. I love those like the, the South, I guess you call it in the US. I don't know. Smashes are dope there. Also, why did he bring me to Fountain? What the hell? Who brings? Who, who, who takes another Falcon to Fountain in Game 5? I don't get it. But anyways, that's Mango. I guess. That's a Mango, I guess. He was going Falcon, but he is going Bond's color. So you have to give credit where credit's due. You know what I mean? If anything, that's a buff. So the odds were against me, if anything. But yeah, we, we, we were uh, we were having fun. It was a fun set. Oh, this. Yeah. This is also in Toronto. I don't know how he died there. This kind of happened. Uh, same thing. I, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't think it was a big deal. I was just like, ah, whatever. You know, I played good. He didn't play that good. And I kind of took it. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Wait, no, I'm lying. I actually remember I tweeted out. I definitely wanted to win this one. I think there was a point in the set where I was like, yeah, I don't want to lose. But, you know, like after this, and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. I just wanted to win the set for the, just for it being a set. You know what I mean? And then it kind of hit me. I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, I won, no big deal. But then people in the crowd, like I was talking to people, and they're like, I, I doesn't lose to Falcon. How did you do that? You're amazing, this and that. I'm like, no, nah, just take it easy. No, it's no big deal. And um, yeah, apparently he also had not lost a Falcon in 10 years or so. So yeah, uh, from that point forward, I was known as the Decade Slayer. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but that happened. And yeah, I mean, it's just it's stuff you don't think about in the moment. But when you look back, it's like, dang, yeah, that was that was kind of nuts. Oh, it was just recently. Yeah, this happened. I uh, I was supposed to lose. I didn't watch this one as much because, you know, I was busy with you guys. We we're doing content. I am a content creator nowadays after all. But what happened here? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what I needed, the 13. The 13 was everything. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. That happens. But yeah, uh, you know, I, I had a lot of uh, matches with HBox all the time, and usually nowadays, I mean, I think they're they're close usually. Um, but this one, I kind of took it. I had already been beating him online, but you know, for the haters and the people that are saying that online doesn't count, well, here you go, you know, a little gift. But um, that happened. Um, also sad because you guys were there. I was with the Golden Guardians. The whole Golden Guardians team was there. And I was there for content, you know, I wasn't really trying to play in this tournament. I was just thinking about like what ideas we could do next. There's Taj talking about me where we had a video idea. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, can we go do the video? So, you know what I mean? And then I made top eight and yeah, unfortunately, but you know, it, it, you know, I did what I could with it. We got what top four, five, four. I'm telling you, I don't keep, I don't keep track of these numbers and, and the W's and the, I don't keep track of any of this. I'm just playing in the moment. Oh, this is the same same tournament. Yeah, this was a hard one. I don't know how this happened as well. For some reason, AMSA, I just beat him at Genesis. This happened, what, two Genesis back to back? Yeah, I don't really know what happened. I think I did some adjusts here and there, and but he was like kind of outplaying me hard. And yeah, I think it came to a point where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm dang, I'm down 2-1. Um, okay, let me see what I can do. And then yeah i kind of beat him but um yeah that was that was my genesis run after that uh i took one game off of z jump fox and yeah that was that was a victory that was a w for me i could sleep i could sleep after that i don't know it's, it's it feels nice it, it feels humbling to look back and you know you have people cheering for you kind of the reason i play the game so you know, after after we finish this content, I'm just going to pick up Unranked. This, this, these are the kind of things I need to get motivated.
there's a there are clip out there that we don't even have here um that you think like yeah that's quintessential none yeah yeah no there's uh this other clip uh i was on unranked versus uh, i think his tag was poon slayer 420 69 and uh he was up three stocks to one on me and taunting it was pretty serious it was pretty bad yeah uh, i did a i did a comeback on him beat him and i popped off i think that's the highlight of my career pers personally but yeah i think those those vods got deleted when the whole dmca thing happened if you were there you were there